hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is storm and i do makeup videos and just a bunch of fun content and today as you can see i have my pajamas on but i have a bunch of new makeup to try so i said yeah let's go film because i don't want to try it without you guys so yeah let's start the first thing i have is this Danessa Myrick's Glow Serum. Uh, I forgot to take my pimple patch off. Ooh. Oh, that was funny. It smells good. It smells like fruit. Mmm. Okay. We'll let that dry a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in. This is also new to me. The Refri, the Refi Brow Sculpt something in the shade Clear. I don't know if I'm gonna like this because I'm usually like a brow gel girl, but people said it's good, so I wanted to try it. I don't know, y'all. It's like white. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it there. It's like white. Which I did know. Because I've seen it in some of the like try, try on videos. I don't know. I mean, it looks, let's see. Maybe I put too much. I'm gonna press it down with my finger and try to get the extra stuff off. I mean, it's stuck down. I'm not gonna go in with a new foundation. I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty one. I've tried this one before. Mm -hmm. I haven't used this one in a minute. So hopefully, it's still good. If I can find my brush before it drips down my face. Here we go. This is the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. My favorite brush. It's good to see if that primer will mix with some of my everyday products. I stopped using this one, but I really need to go back to it. <sighs> Does this shade look off a little bit? But we can fix that. Take 
taking my sponge just to blend out any brush streaks which I usually don't get with the um with that brush but just to be safe we go in with the sponge and also to pick up any extra product I might have used see just a little bit the concealer also isn't new this is the one of my favorite ones the Pat McGrath Labs um, skin fetish sublime perfecting concealer it's a really long name this is one of my favorites this is the shade LM14 if anybody's wondering gonna let that one dry and then we're gonna go in with this I've used it before but I'm still figuring out if I like it this is the halo glow contour wand Let's see unlock what I like do like about this is it locks like you can twist it and lock it and unlock it so that it doesn't explode everywhere in your bag or in your vanity or whatever I'm gonna start with that much and then just blend it out. Take that contour up because once I have a very round face, so if I start bringing stuff down, my face is gonna look 10 times as round. So always go up. I don't know if I mentioned what brush. This is the cream and powder blush brush from e.l.f. I love e.l.f. brushes. They're really affordable and they work really well. And this is a double sided and I'm pretty sure I got this for like $8. So really $4 per brush. I think concealer is my favorite part of makeup of the makeup process because it really transforms your face like I look so much more awake and it's not even fully blended yet this sponge is also from elf I think it's like the I actually don't know what it's called but I have 80 of them and it's just the perfect shape. I feel like my concealer just does not blend correctly without it. Like I can get everywhere with this. If they ever discontinue it, I will pay $80 for it on eBay. <laughs> Maybe not 80, but <laughs> a good amount. I wanna do a pinky under eye. Cause that's been been the trend lately is like that really nice pink under eye i have this new charlotte tilbury but i feel like it's a little bit too peach for the look that i'm trying to do we'll use it anyway or i could use this one in pink the juvia's place in pink lady don't want to be peachy or pinky peachy or pinky peachy or pinky peachy or pinky I am gonna do pinky. And as we know, Juvia's Places blushes are super pigmented. So that's probably too much. But that's okay, because we're gonna go over with powder and everything. Anyway, another e.l.f. brush. This is their actual complexion duo, but I've been using it for blush and then highlight on this side. I just feel like it works. And I'm bringing it pretty far underneath because I want to do the pinky under eye. 
So once I lay down the powder blush, I feel like it'll it'll look cute. Dare I say I need more? <gasps> no one's ever said that about Juvia's Place blushes. Maybe just this side too. For my blush placement, I always go up. For the same reason as the contour, I have a round face. I don't need anything dragging me down. We love pink blush. Got some hair on me now. I had to wipe my edge a little bit and now the hair is loose. This is also new to me. I'm finally trying the Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I haven't tried Huda's powders yet and I told myself, you know, I have to start trying the stuff that if everyone thinks it's good, if everyone thinks it's good, I have to try it. <laughs> toxic treat because everybody can't be lying they can't be um if i can figure out how to open this that would be wonderful Ooh. Ooh. this is 10 times harder to do with nails if you know you know okay let's see gonna tap some out actually i think this is super cute but i just don't see myself if that if that's what it for is that what it's for to use or is it just to keep the powder inside the i don't know i'm gonna take a fresh pink powder puff and try to dip inside so i'm gonna look up pat out these creases and then use the powder Ooh. I was scared that this color was going to be too light for me. But it's coming off very translucent, so that's good. I'm also not using a bunch. So that could be why it's working into my favor. But is it giving seamless? Still got to master this little puff thing. I don't know what that's for. Oh, the powder's cute. The powder is giving. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth all over my face. This is a holy grail. This, if you don't have this, they're discontinuing this because I think they're reformulating it. But this is the old one, um, the one that's like on been on sale for weeks at Sephora for like ten dollars. I got my backups because usually when they reform, well, sometimes when they reformulate things the quality can go up or down up or down up or down i didn't want to risk it because once i found out that this is this good yeah enough said about that i'm gonna go in with this really fluffy brush tap in and just go all over even though i'm still gonna go in with some pow other powder products this just helps this is like a filter honestly It just makes me feel like my face is cohesive. Only a little bit I went in with. Nothing too crazy. But I feel like I look like a doll. I have this Rim Beauty one that I've just started using. Do I want to use this? Let's do it. Let's go in with this. Um, maybe we use this brush. This is from Morphe. It's the L101 brush. This is my favorite brush for 
bronzing my nose it's it's the travel size of the Kali I got it as a gift from my sister actually I think it was in a set but I've had it for a while now and I've only ever used it for my nose and every time I use a different brush I feel like it doesn't come out right it has to be this brush something about it and I bring that all the way up to my brow don't ask me why I just do I feel like it chisels on my face huh. next we're gonna do the pink blush so let me grab one let's see this one I have this one and this one from Too Faced and I want to do kind of like an ombre I think so this higher up and then this directly under the eye let's try that this is the shade the darker one is the shade watermelon rain from Too Faced so let's start with that one. I'm gonna start that one all the way up here. Like directly near the temples. And then I'm gonna take the lighter one, which is in the shade Golden Hour. It took me forever to find it. And I'm gonna bring that a little like closer into my inner eye, under eye. It's pretty. I think one of the next videos I'm going to do with something like an everyday makeup routine is I want to make my own pink powder. Because I know I can buy it, but I feel like I have some really cute pink blushes that are like the perfect pink. And then I have some blushes that are a little bit too light for me for here, but under the eye, it, it can eat. So maybe I should do that. I don't know. I'm still contemplating i'm not going to do too much on my eyes because i am recovering from a sty um it's gone now but i want to be cautious so i'm not going to do too much on my eyes let's do a lip let's see what new lip products i have here in front of me oh i have the raquel lip products this is like the he does beyonce's makeup he came out with a um, makeup brand. And I have a few lippies from him. Let's see which one I want to do. I'm going to go in with this lip pencil. This is in the shade Marked. It is his lip shader redefined. What is this hair on me? If you guys can see, yeah, you can see it. It's almost the same shade as my lip, or at least the outside of my lip. I'm gonna darken it. I think I have a darker shade. I'm gonna go in with. It also has this brush here, but I don't really. I haven't had to use it yet. I'm gonna go in with the shade Silhouette. This should be a darker shade. 
these are super creamy and I love the shape of it because it's almost like the perfect lip shape like it's just like a triangle here so it's perfect for getting the shape you want I want to do this one. Oh, this is um, still rock out. This is in the shade Shekina, Shekina, in the lip cream. Look at that. Let's see if it'll focus. It has like this cute design with all these affirmations and words on it. So cute. Let's go in with this in the center. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Do I want to put a gloss on it? Toxic trait. Do I put a gloss on top? Is the question. I think I put a gloss. But this is a P. Louise lip shine. <laughs> Stunning. This is low key's a look. Is it eating with no mascara? Am I giving young and youthful? I don't know. Let's set it. Um, oh, this is new for me. This kimchi stage proof mattifying setting powder. I mean, setting setting spray. It smells like melon it smells really fresh that's good and this is the face that i came up with i hope you enjoy it and if you do don't forget to like and subscribe and comment some of your favorite new makeup products or any new things you want me to try or any video ideas you might have yeah. Bye. <laughs>